Oh boy, guys. This game is getting wild. So much happened in the last episode. We went to the Tomb of Wraithwall. We got the Dawn Shard. We went to the Tomb of Wraithwall. We got our first Esper. Belias, we also opened up the secondary license boards for each of the characters. So now they can have two jobs. And then Vossler took it upon himself to strike up a deal with the Empire, thinking that cooperating with them would be for the best of Dalmasca. And then the whole fleet exploded along with Vossler and those Nethysite shards are very, very powerful. You can blow up a whole fleet of airships. Anyways, how did you guys feel when you opened up the secondary job boards, license boards for your team? Because I was very surprised and a little bit scared at first, but I think it's really cool and exciting. And I can't wait to explore more of that. And I can't wait to get to this episode. Okay, let's do it. Thank you guys for watching. Enjoy. See you in the comments. You guys are great. Mwah, mwah, mwah. The dreadnought Leviathan is sunk. The Eighth Fleet of the Arcadian Imperial Army lost. As word of the events in the Yacht sounded throughout the Empire, quit I, Bujerba, citing sudden malady, my true motive, to bring the various counter-imperial forces scattered throughout Ivalice together in unified resistance. By this time, Lady Ash had made her return to Rabanaster. She had not, however, made known her presence. Rather, she was content with keeping both her own whereabouts and those of the Don Shard concealed. Had she chosen then to go before her people, my error in announcing her suicide would be known, to the great detriment of my efforts to assemble a resistance. In such circumstance as the Lady Ash then found herself, even were she to proclaim Dalmasca restored, it would serve only to invite the Empire's wrath. Though Arcadia had lost her Eighth Fleet, she remained, as ever, a military power with which to be reckoned. The Azarian Empire assembles a vast host under guise of martial exercises. It is our belief they wait for the proper pretext, the sooner to make their strike against Arcadia. The loss of Leviathan and her fleet at such a time comes as a most grievous blow. Were Azaria to invade, the battle would be hard fought. Had Lord Vane not deployed the fleet so capriciously, we would not now find ourselves in such perilous circumstance. Lord Vane shall be made to answer for his actions. It is the will of the Senate. Excellency, though he be your son, justice must be served. A convenient thing, justice. And so I must now make a choice between my throne and my son. A most lamentable situation for us all. Oh? For Lord Vane, perhaps. Yet surely Lord Lhasa will make for a fine emperor. Lhasa so adores his brother, and he is yet young. But he will not remain young forever. Already he busies himself unraveling Lord Vane's tangled skein. Lord Larsa has found his role to play and pursues it with some enthusiasm. Ah, yes. And who would set him at such tasks? What matter? 
Lord Vane himself once saw his elder brothers brought to like justice, did he not? At your Excellency's behest, as I recall. <coughs> You may put yourself at ease, Lord Gramis. So long as the Senate watches over her, Arcadia's well-being will ever be ensured. By your will, I shall bid Vain return to Arcades. So, it was the Dawn Shard that brought down the Imperial fleet. You know your stuff. Destructive power of such force. I've seen it once before. Lady Ash, you know of what I speak. Nabudis. The capital of Old Nebradia, Lord Rassler's fatherland. At the time of the invasion, a division of Imperials entered the city. There was a mighty explosion. Friend and foe died alike. Something was there. One of the Dynast King's relics. The Midlight Shard was in Nebradia. More Nethocide. Well, no wonder they invaded. That ridiculous war. The trap at the treaty signing. All this because Vane wanted power. He must not be allowed to claim the Nethocide. The Empire must never hold it. Oh, they already do. The Dusk Shard, most likely the Midlight Shard, too. Besides, can't they manufact Nethersite now? Very well. Then the path set before us is clear. We'll use the Dawn Shard to fight them. Dalmasca does not forget kindness, nor ill deed done. With sword in hand, she aids her allies. Sword in hand, she lays to rest her foes. This Nethersite, I hope, must be my sword. I will avenge those who have died, and the Empire will know remorse. You even know how to use it? I... <laughs> the Gareth may know. The Gareth people live by the old ways. Matricide lore is a part of their culture. They may hear it, the cry of the Nethersite's power, whispers of the stone's menace. Dangerous though it be, what we need now is power. Should we declare Dalmasca free without the means to defend our claim, the Empire would crush us. You must take me to meet with the Gareth. They live beyond Osman Plain. Not exactly close. A compensation, is that what you want? Straight to the point, aren't we? I like that. Compensation. How about the ring? This? Isn't there something else? No one's forcing you. <laughs> it's not her wedding ring, is it? No, the one on her middle finger? I'll give it back to you, as soon as I find something more valuable. What do you mean, something more valuable? Hard to say. I'll know when I find it. What is it you want, Vaughn? What are you looking for? Me? 
What am I looking for? I... I guess... Well, I... Uh, you know... <sighs> <laughs> what are we... What are you even doing here, Vaughn? <laughs> The Gareth are said to dwell in Kirwan. So they do. We'll need to head south, past the Giza Plains. It is the rains now in Giza. The Waris will be swollen with the deluge. Passage may be difficult. But those same waters may also lay open new routes to us. Regardless, we must go south, yes? First things first. You're eager to be on your way, I know. But we should see that we're prepared before setting out. Oh, yes. I made my resolve two years ago. I swore to overcome any hardship I may face. Man cannot live by resolve alone, princess. Back in Robin Oster. Whew. Okay. Wow. Um, let's take a break and then... And then we will, uh, we'll probably spend a lot of time here doing maybe some hunts and things like that i'm sure there's a lot opened up but let's take a break wow i'm broke i have 800 gil and we'll probably look at the licenses and uh yeah we're just whew. Whew. okay i will be right back and then i'm gonna need your guys's help with this story because i'm feeling a little bit like i'm missing some details here like i was kind of zoning out <laughs> Some of the cutscenes. So I'll be right back though. Um, be right back. Okay, so Max says um, the big lore note with the old guy meeting was Vane brought his older brothers to justice, conveniently putting himself first in line to be emperor. The council recognizes him as a threat and wants him gone as they'd rather have Larsa in charge. Okay, that was pretty much what I thought was going on, more or less. But, um, I just, I wasn't sure 100%. All right, Pinello, White Mage. She's got a lot. <laughs> we got to do a lot of stuff here with her. A lot of stuff here. Intercession. Evanescence? I love that band. Wait, archers get Kira? Why is she a white mage then? <laughs> uh, okay, I'm sure she can get other cool stuff. It's fine. I mean, I, I can beat the game if I just even had them as one, one license each, like one job each. It would still be fine. You know? Hey, live and learn. Live and learn. I think I want pretty much all this stuff. Oh, we gotta go buy gambits, man. We're, I think we're gonna be the whole rest of the stream probably just in menus and shops. <laughs> probably. Wouldn't be surprised. We can all I can always change their jobs later if I want if I feel like it if I'm not too lazy to do so Ooh, ribbon archers get ribbon I fucked up didn't I <laughs> let's look at the white mage stuff Reduce magic costs will be good. Rods. Ooh, holy and Isunaga. Isunaga. Let's get everybody on their board here. I'm just gonna go with what I decided. She's gonna be a foe breaker. 
she gonna smash things with a hammer so i could have her in heavy armor or i could have her in um the mystic armor so what are the differences here so one is gonna probably give you more well defense 14 or magic resist 14 so hat is magic resist armor is defense no matter what right and it doesn't give you any magic like stats or like physical stats it's just what's the difference between mystic light and heavy besides i guess the heavy will probably give like be more heavier on the physical defense and then maybe less on the magic defense i don't know oh poor pinello this is overwhelming <laughs> this is a little bit overwhelming let's let's um scream into a pillow all right um what do we want to do here yeah maybe we should just do some hunts for right now when i was editing the first um episode of this i s i saw that there was a kid that i talked to right around here i think and he was telling me like history or something and he said there'll be more later do you guys know who i'm talking about where was he oh right here oh here we go see if he has anything new have you ever heard of king wraithwall he's an ancestor of the dalmasca family from a long long time ago he was a leader of unrivaled wisdom and a warrior of peerless fortitude. At least that's what my folks told me. They say he even had a powerful Gigas that had to do whatever he said. And that the Gigas still guards his tomb to this day. I don't know if that part about the Gigas is true or not. But it was something mighty strong anyways. Let's see if he has any more. Or if it's the same. Oh, it's the same. I don't remember. The board here and the board in um, the other place, they have different quests from each other. Or do the boards share stuff? Ooh, we have stuff available. Rank 2! Wyvern Lord. From Cheryl in Rabinoster sighted a great wyvern whilst surveying the Yensan Sansi. Left unchecked, it could pose a threat to Rabinoster. Spell it in my stead. Yes. All the boards are the same, but the Mont Blanc has different. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, so he's at the weapons place. Enkelados from Sugumu in the land of the Gareth. Oh, that's where we're heading. There's a creature on Osmo and playing kill it. This is how one summons a monster, is it not? Good. I will be waiting. Yeah, we have not been there yet. Crocodile. Giza, the rains. I lost a ring and I must have it back. I wait on Giza plains. Come during the rains. Well, I think it's raining right now. All right, cool. Here you defeated a demon wall. Yes, I did. <laughs> impressive what you got for me 600 gil and a warp mode good good so you now command an esper impressive two arcane arcane and two teleport stones any new marks 
No? Really? Mont Blanc. Please. I don't remember the name of who I need to find. Oh, uh, I think that's him. Cheryl. So you saw my bill for the Wyvern Lord, did you? Most days I seen Robin Oster patrolling the shops and markets, but not long back. I was dispatched to make a survey of the outlying desert. Agree to the hunt and I'll tell you what I know. I accept. Now then, where was I? Our orders led us through the Wester Sand and further west into the Sand Sea. We just arrived at the western edge of the Nam Yensa Sand Sea when we saw it in the sky, the Wyvern Lord. It didn't worry the others, but it certainly worried me. What if that Wyvern were to attack Robin Oster, I thought. I informed the commander of my concerns. He dismissed it as a bad case of nerves, saying even if it did attack, the watch would stop, soon stop it. Most like the city would be safe. I'll give him that. But it doesn't mean that there wouldn't be casualties. I may be Arcadian, but I care about Robin Oster. That's why I posted this bill against my own purse. It's got not to do with the Empire. I want you to slay that Wyvern Lord for me. I accept. Ha. Ah. <laughs> I should give her a, um, a hammer or a mace. Do I have one? Does she use shields too? Or is that like a two handed thing? Oh, hammer is one hand, one handed. I don't have any more LP on her. Yeah. Yeah. Bro, that's hot. That's hot as fuck, right? Swinging that hammer around. Them heels. And those bunny ears. <laughs> Good decision. Good decision. I think we made the right choice here. Uh. Yes. She doesn't really get a chance to, <laughs> to really do much though on these weaker enemies. Oh, she's using her magic on these guys. They must be weak to water or something. What are all the classes that can wear heavy armor? I think I'm going to change my... I think I'm going to change my stuff. Because, like, I, I've been using Vaughn here as a tank, but... He, has he, since he has so much HP as a Shikari that he can get, but with the light armor... He feels a little bit squishy. So if I give him some heavy armor... I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I should just leave it how I have it. They're giving me too many options. I, I want to do all of them at the same time. I don't know what to pick. You know? Are we, are we close by? It's gotta be around here somewhere. That's probably it. <sighs> okay. We'll, we'll be okay. My brain, yeah, my brain is just so confused. <laughs> I think probably in a few streams, I'm probably going to start from scratch on everybody, like off stream, maybe over the weekend or something. I'll probably 
get some ideas of like some things that I would want to change. Oh, time battle mage can get heavy armor, you think? Um, I might re- oh yeah, he can. I might redo like every- everything. I don't know. Where's my time magic? Oh, here's stop. Here's break. Countdown. Reflect ga, slow ga. All right. You look like a wyvern. Okay, so let's see. Steel. Go ahead and use Oil. Yeah. And then fire. Whoa, this is a long list here. This thing has a lot of HP. Can I zoom out. Oh, this is better view. Am I even hitting him? Miss, miss. Oh man, what level is this guy? I can't see. Slow? Can I slow him? Yes, I can. All right, let's do some quickenings then. I think we all have a quickening. How about some of this? Okay, ball theater. Oh, I don't think we have enough to do more than. Please. Oh, I, yeah, I can do Fran too. Fire of Gods! Fire of Gods! We're still going? Inferno? doing anything to this guy you have a I don't have a crossbow ah what are you doing here Okay, well, I mean, it's working. Let's try... Uh, decoy. Um, let's try... Poison? I think that worked. Can I zoom out my camera? He doesn't actually look poisoned. He has only a slow on him. What techniques do you have? Oh, poach. Capture HP critical foes to obtain loot. Ooh. I wonder if that'll work on this guy. Let's try... Blizzard. that miss? I couldn't tell. He's cast 
missing arrow. Well, at least he's slowed. That's good. Let's try... Thunder. Okay, thunder hit. Let's keep doing that. If he's using arrow, then maybe he's... Maybe he's weak to lightning. I don't know. doing shit to this guy. Okay, let's just finish him off with some thunder. Ouch. Oh, he's getting tougher because he's low HP, I think. Okay, so we need to buy... We need to buy Vaughn a uh, crossbow. Ooh, swords for... Uh, okay, crossbow two. Good enough. Okay, so now we... Does he have... I need to give him the license. Nice. Okay, so now he can do that. If need be. All fear. Ulan. Oh, he can do heavy armor with this too. Okay, I don't really know what I want to do with that right now. Okay, let's just let's just keep doing hunts. My my brain is going to turn into noodles. Noodle jelly, jelly noodles. I think we got to take it just a little bit at a time with the gambits and the uh and everything. And with the licenses. If I try to like do everybody's at once it's gonna be too much for me i'm gonna hate it it's raining that's so cool and there's grass that's so cool So we want to go over this way. I feel like these wolves got stronger too. The enemies in the area have gotten stronger. That's cool. The rains even slightly changed the layout of the zones. Really? All right, who are we talking to? You're like the only person here. Everybody else left, I guess. The ring. The precious ring. My precious. Gone. Eaten. Eaten by the crocodile. Slay it for me. Except the ring. Her ring. Find it. Bring it here. The creature near the bridge. What does Smeagol sound like again? Never tried to do a Smeagol. 
My precious. Oh, I got regen. I like regen. What guys doing out in the rain? Well, this is perfect. I forgot everyone leaves the village during the rains. I'm a blundering fool, Kapo. What's that? A sad looking man, Kapo? Haven't seen anyone match in that description around here, Kapo. Phew, just came from Osmo and Plain. I'm dead tired. Not all that far, no. Just keep making your way south through Giza. Head out the village here and you're on your way. There's a Gareth village out on the west end of the plain. Mind yourself if you head out that way, though. The creatures there are murder. The creatures there are murder. Wow. Okay, so... Oh, we have to slay... The crocodile. And it is... Down that away. I love it when it rains. In video games. It's so nice. kind of mean for attacking that guy while he was taking a nap. Oh, this is so cool. It's like all swampy. What is this guy? <gasps> oh! An abomination. Wooly gator? Look at that. What the hell is happening here? What is wrong with his face? It's disturbing looking. Really disturbing. Although the- oh gosh. Oh, this is him! We're here already. slow him oh it missed put in steel let's try again stole a horn Let's do another quickening. Uh oh. Yeah. Got a surprise for you. I never miss. Oh no, I'm out. My regards. But I got the Inferno again. That's the thing, right? You were talking about? Oh, he still has a lot of HP and we are just kind of struggling here. I don't know why Fran isn't isn't really um, using cure on us. the wrong person.
bet maybe he might be weak to fire. Let's try it. Oil. And fire. Well, he took damage from it, at least. Oh no, we're sleeping. Let's, we're probably gonna wake up though when he attacks us, right? We're awake, we're awake, we're awake. Vaughn, whatever. We're feeling a little squish here. Oh, I need to give him a heavy armor coat. Let's see. That's why. I gave him a heavy armor. Iron armor. Heavy armor too. Let's see. Heavy armor too. That'll probably help. Oh, it's optimizing for the crossbow? No, 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 no. I don't want that right now. Defense 11. Defense 14. Oh. The heavy coat light armor still gives more because it's it's light armor four, I guess. We'll need to go do some shopping. All right, well, we got to turn this back into this guy, but then we can go ahead and head south because we got to go that way for the story anyways. When you're out, you hit R2 to shuffle and hope to see mischarge to refill your charges to keep going. Oh, okay. I was going to ask what shuffle did. But I forgot. Kill this abomination. I don't like your face. All right. I did the thing for you. That's the ring at long last it is found. The crocodile, you've you've defeated it. Serpent rod. Teleport stone. Please, I beg you. The ring. The ring of the toad, take it. To my beloved go. I grow weak. So cold. So cold. What is wrong with this guy? The ring of the toad, take it to her. She waits. She still waits. She should be here close. I feel her. Is he? What? Is he dying? Is he on death's door? Yeah. What is this? Target available. I think it's freaky. That guy would be under allies. Oh, okay, hold on. Good 
There he is. Gareth Hunter. Oh. He's one of the Gareth people? He looks like a monster. He looks scary. We're here. Osmone Plain. New place. To explore. New music to listen to? Oh, it's quite sunny. What is this guy? Looks like a... Petzl... Waddle. Whatever. Oh, we, we have a whole new place to explore. We don't even have a map. That's exciting. What are you? Mesmanir. Let's get our Libra on because I don't want to die. Oh, wait. I forgot to check. Level 20. Okay, we're fine. I don't want it to be another like T-Rex situation, you know, or whatever. What is going on? There's too many enemies here. Something like since even with her staff or her um, hammer she can't really hit flying so go flying why am I lost uh, attack magics oh here it's like thunder or something or maybe fire Look at us! Where are we? We're still exploring. Um, do we want to go there or do we want to go this way? Let's see what's over here. This place is nice. things werewolves oh they're level 23 yeah yeah our attack is pretty strong with this crossbow we're doing more than Balthier. Okay, I think where we want to go is the other path. So we'll go towards the uh, the village that we're trying to get to. Yeah, switching equipment in combat seems pretty 
important for, like it the game wouldn't work as well if you couldn't do it because of just how it's structured yeah this is far more of a strategy game than most Final Fantasies, having a lot of options and reacting to the situation. I am getting to understand that. It's quite different. From, it's Every Final Fantasy is pretty unique, though. I think it's pretty cool that they never yeah. use the same... I mean, I don't know about thir the 13s, how much those vary as far as game to game. But they don't, they don't retread the same ground, like, as far as the, the mechanics go. And I think that's pretty neat. You know that any new Final Fantasy is going to be something, something completely new. A new system they create from scratch. So, if I have six characters and I have three yeah. allies per, or three party members per party, yeah. then I could kind of set up like two parties that I switch between and kind of have, try to fill out like all the stuff. So, my tank, could, one tank is Bosch for sure. And then I need a healer, at least one healer, and then the rest, whatever. So Bosch for sure as a tank. And then I could do for the other party, Vaughn or Balthier, maybe. This is a dead end. Yeah, this game is pretty much all about the strategizing because I'm fighting, but I'm not thinking about the fighting. I'm thinking about how to strategize my my team, my gambits, and all that stuff. Team composition. Ooh, regen. We just got that. Asuna, cleanse, confuse, faith. Holy. Ooh, we need that. We need that. Um, I want a gambit slot, maybe. I don't have any gambits set up for her. Here we go. Okay, so we're gonna need, um, ally, 50% HP, cure, uh, we'll give her she has protect does she have the green magic stuff does she have the decoy can i give her decoy oh green magic one <gasps> no we don't have enough well as long as she attacks and cures it's probably good enough for now party leader i would like to give her the decoy but i think uh protect Party leader. I wish I had something like party leader, less than 100% HP, use regen. I can't do anything like that. Oops. I guess I could do ally, HP less than 70, regen, and just hope that the party leader is the only one that's getting hit, even though I don't have decoy at the moment. And then let's just give her a res. Oh, those parallel arrows are good for her. Okay. We need to get her decoy. Where are we going? How do we get out of here? Okay. <laughs> this is fun! <laughs> uh, no, I don't want to copy anyone's setup right now. You can answer my questions, but I don't want, like... I want to... 
figure it out on my own and kind of you guys help me figure out a way I wanted to do things that I want to do but I don't want you to give me a build I don't want you guys to like just say oh here's the best build and you're all set yeah. you know yeah. that would be I wouldn't have fun anymore <laughs> okay Jahara land of the Gareth we're gonna have to view this cutscene and then save or we could just maybe just save right here yes okay we'll stop here all right so we're we made it let's go talk to people now oh cartographer yes i would like to buy a map i'm gonna buy all the maps map of the osmone plane and let's get a map of jahara for the cheap Here's Gertie. So. I've never tried to do this. Let me just see what it does. You've not ridden a chocobo? Be mindful that. Oh. Off you go now, quite a treat watching the world fly by from your perch in the saddle. But do I actually ride it? I thought it was fast travel. Oh! <gasps> How do we go faster? So is this like... Oh, there's chocobos here. Oh, sprint. The chocobos are ugly in this game? Ah... Uh... You know, I have seen cuter. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> they're not they're not the cutest chocobos around. Um I wouldn't say they're ugly though, but they're not like I've seen cuter. I've seen cuter. They look kind of vicious in a way. Those beaks. What's over here? going on over here I can go to all these secret places with the chocobos oh yeah there is a timer I have 40 seconds left 45 seconds left all right now we're ready Gareth warrior Who are you? This is Gareth Land. No place for Hume children to play at games. They are wherefore wayfarers. They bring no harm. I saw them cross the Osmone Plain. They are warriors of great distinction. The fields of the plains troubled them not at all. Oh, the fiends of the plains. Wait, what if we attacked him? How would this have gone? You ventured upon the plains alone, war chief? Again? Oh, he's the war chief? Hi, Ian. Would we have died? Would, would he have fucked us up? <laughs> what business have you with the Gareth? Let them pass. The responsibility will be mine. This is your wish, war chief. Then you may pass. These days, see many humes wandering through our lands. Ah, I have not made introductions. I am 
Supinelu. Supi. Sup. Supinelu. Supinelu. War chief of this village. We, Gareth, have been friends to all since long ago. However, lately the Hume world is in much turmoil. We must protect our vill village and our people. As war chief and protector of our village, I ask you, why have you come to this land? Explain, explain, explain. Hmm. <laughs> I see. So you too have come to ask about the Nethysite. You must speak with the elders. Through, though our masks may make it difficult for you to tell us apart walk through the village and look with your eyes listen with your ears uh lefty no i did i did not attack the machines in the amusement park but i did fight that one there's one optional boss there that i did it i I thought I had to fight it, so I fought that. Uh, what was it? A tank? But yeah, no, I didn't pull a Jesse. No. <laughs> Look at this guy. This looks like a really nice spot to relax. As long as this mat or blanket doesn't get soggy. What is this? Another Hume visitor to our land? This is most unusual. Have you too come to speak with our elder chieftains? So somebody has come before us asking about the Nethysite. Wonder who it could be. Wonder if it's Lars, uh, or I don't know who it would be, honestly. Oh, you are the Hume the war chief has spoken of. You have crossed the plains to learn of the stones, yes? I believe the elders can tell you much. Well, they seem very nice. Nice people. You seem a great warrior, but it is best you avoid Zertanen Caverns. There are many fell creatures there, and of late, worse. A fiend with strange powers has been seen. Perhaps this is why the other creatures there have grown yet more violent. You are the Humes of War Chief, our War Chief saw on the plains. Welcome to our village, protected by the clear flow of the Sogo, so, so, Sogot. Sogot? I am Supinelu's brother, Kadalu. I worry for Spinelu. Sp Spinelli. <laughs> Supinelu often goes to the plains alone. Why? When the others surely wish to train with him. He is stubborn this way. Your pardon, I spoke of a personal matter. Please forget it. You have business with the elders, yes? On you go. What is it, Hume child? Have you something to ask of this wizened man? Ah, you wish to know of the Nethysite? It is a word I hear quite often of late, though I know not why, nor do I know anything of this stone. So too did I tell the Hume child who asked me before. I'm sorry. Ask another of the elders. Perhaps they will know. Maybe it is. What's his name? Larsa? Did I talk to these guys? There is wood to the southeast of here, where the mist is uncommonly thick. Even its flowers are perilous to man. If you would pass through the wood, be wary of places where the mist runs thickest. Something about this mist. Many people come to our village of late. Perhaps the road to Giza is open. Once again, we can bring medicinal herbs and the fine cheese of the Nana to the people of Giza. When the rains have lifted, I will do this. Where are all their women and children? I've only seen like men so far. Do you need anything? Maybe I am talking to women and I don't even know it. 
Please take your time, for the world has much of it for the taking. All right, let me see what I can sell first off. First of all, oh man, I have a lot of different items. I've been fighting a wide variety of enemies, it looks like. Do I need this chocobo stuff? Probably not, huh? If, it, if I need it for anything, I'll just buy more. New bizarre goods. Light spear. I got a javelin. Eye openers. Phoenix Downs and Princess Kisses. Traveler's Garb. Feathered Cap and Traveler's Vestment. Golden Garb. Golden Helm, Golden Armor, Golden Shield. Ooh! No, it's also expensive. Let's get, we'll just start at the top. Let's get the Flame Tongue. For Bosch. Let's get an axe and I could get a mace for Ash I bet I could sell some stuff and get that dagger hold on okay we can get have you heard of the monographs merely bearing one of these on your person aids in the retrieval of objects from the foes you defeat there are different monographs for different persuasions of adventure as a merchant i would love one if only i knew where it might be found guys they're like weird four-legged ostrich cows the green creatures you see in my enclosure are nanas the best livestock in all of Ivalice. no part of the nana goes to waste Meat, hide, and bones all have their uses. They are strong against drought and cold and, oh yes, easily herded. You have the look of one who wishes to know something. If it is something that I know, good. Ah, the Nethysite. You are not the only one who has asked me about this. It saddens me to admit that I know nothing of this stone. Magisite contains within it a great power. Thus have we worshipped the stones from the beginning of time. Yet I had never heard of this Nethysite. Perhaps the High Chief knows something of this. If you have not spoken with him yet, go. He will be with Geomancer Yegulu. Yugelu, whatever. Greetings, you're a traveler, yes? Our village is not like a Hume village, but you are welcome to find what comfort here as you may. Thank you, everyone. Oh, so nice. Beyond here lies the hill, hill where sits the great chief. Those from the outside are not welcome here. Have you learned what you wish? No, do not tell me. It is written clear upon your face. So the elders could not help. Then you must meet with the great chief. 
I would meet with this great chief. Yes, it is true. The great chief may know something that would aid you, yet arranging an audience may be difficult. I must learn more about the Nethesite. I cannot turn back now. Please tell your great chief that I am of the royal line of Dalmasca, a direct descendant of Dynas King Wraithwall. If the Gariff has have passed down knowledge of the stones, they must know of the Nethesite that the Dynas King once held. Do you have proof of your heritage? I I do not. Hmm. I have looked into your eyes and seen that you speak the truth, Hume child. I give you my trust. The great chief is ahead, across the bridge. Oh, fancy. Okay, let's do this. Where no Hume has gone before. Except the one who got here before us, whoever that is. There is a rich magicite vein near this village, did you know? It is an important and very holy place to us. Yet in recent years, Humes have spoiled the land. They use machines to mine more and more of the stones. They steal power from the earth at their own peril, for the earth will surely take it back. You, have you seen the bill posted for the Enchilados? Hmm, I had wondered what sort of person would come, but never did I expect. No, no matter. It is nothing. You are truly here to hunt for my mark? Oh, yes, I am. That is exactly why I'm here. Truly? Good, good. Even if you are a child. <clears throat> Pay me no mind. All elderly are as I am, slow to trust. Let me explain the situation. You know the Osmone Plain? You must have passed through there at least once. A very valuable herb grows there. Yet the Enchilados, it tramples my precious herbs to dust. Oh, as you can see, I'm quite agitated. Normally, the warriors of this village would vanquish it for me. But this time, well, suffice it to say, I need you to do this. The Enchilados can be found on the eastern edge of the Osmo Plain. It is often seen in the Shred, I am told. Warrior Semu knows much of this creature. When you leave this knoll, you will find him standing guard at the bridge. Talk to him there. Now go. I trust you will do this for me and return safely. The hunt begins! What are you playing? Chinese checkers? Interesting. Your brother got hit in the eye with a Chinese checkers marble once. <laughs> Ouch! How did that happen? You ask of the Enchilados? Ah yes, this is the mark, now I recall. It can be found in the east of Osmone Plain in a place called the Shred, but going and finding are two different things. First, you must know that the Enchilados detests the creatures known as the Wu. To lure it out, you must first rid the area of these Wu. Once all the Wu are slain, depart a while, and in a short time, the Enchiladoes shall appear. Alright, let's do this hunt. Before we progress any further. There it is! Big boy. What do you have? Mm hmm. No green magic, huh? She's got re regen. doesn't have decoy yeah. I don't 
don't want her to be tanking. He's going after me. vanquished I've destroyed a plenty of enchiladas in my time you love vanquishing enchiladas me too was it you oh ho you have defeated the enchilados the enchiladas these are good tidings indeed. I learn again that it is wrong to judge by appearances. Now, I shall reveal a truth to you. In fact, the warriors offered to hunt my mark, yet none of us had ever seen a true mark hunter. So curious I was to see what such a man might be like, I asked permission of the elders and posted a bill. Little did I expect a Hume child. To tell the truth, I was a little disappointed, but this is past and now is now. My eyes have been opened. I see you are truly a great warrior. Another surprise for me. Here, please take this as my thanks. You have done well, friend. Ah, buttering me all up. Uh, I got a golden amulet. Oh, I should probably check my equipment. Because I got some from the bazaar. Nice. Can she not wear a shield? What have I done here? Do I need to give her some shields? I thought I did. Maybe I didn't. Did I do that right now before I forget? Shields one. Shields two. Shields three. The great chief is ahead. Will you meet with him? Wait, hold on. What's up here first? Oh, a Hume child. This is not most unusual. You seem quite burly for one so young. We are old here, and you may find our village lacks the excitement you crave, but sometimes it is better to move slowly. Okay, have we seen this entire village and it's literally just a bunch of old men? Doesn't seem... sustainable. Like... Eventually, they're gonna die out. Oh, Gareth Youth! Oh, okay. They're not all old men. As a Hume child, I'm surprised. Oh, a Hume child. I'm surprised to see you here. This hill is called the Ender Knoll. Here does the Great Chief hold council with the other elders. We welcome. We Gareth welcome outsiders to our village, but few are they who are allowed here. You must be on important business indeed. That I am. That I am. I'm ready to talk to the elder.
I mean the great chief, whatever. He's got an awesome mask with like these horns or antlers on it. This nethysite, you have used it. It was not I who used it. Indeed, I had hoped you could show me how. Thus I've come. Hmm. You do not know the workings of the stone. Then we are no different. What? In ages past, the gods made a gift of nethysite to my people. But the manner of its use eluded us. Displeased by our failure, the gods took back their stones. They chose instead to give them to a Yum king. Called the Dynast King, he used the Nethysite's power to bring peace to a troubled time. It is a curious thing. Though the blood of King Wraith will flow through your veins, you cannot wield Nethysite. Cannot wield it? So then, am I to understand you can't tell me how to use the stone? Though it shame me so to admit, here before me stands a descendant of the Dynast King himself, and I can accord her no help at all. Still, even if you knew how to use the Nethysite, you would find it of small avail. The mist collected in the stone over ages past is lost, and with it, the stone's power. We just gotta recharge it. Will be it. your posterity who wield the stone in ages yet to come. <sighs> this stone is devoid of power, empty, yet full of thirst. A terrible longing to drink the world dry. The power of men and of magic. Of good and of evil. It is often those who desire Nethysite whom the Nethysite itself desires. <sighs> I knew it was him. Larsa? To Baromi says. I say we ought leave tomorrow. I was going to wait for my escort to return, but meeting you here has presented a great opportunity. This terrible war can be stopped, but I will need your help to do so. A war? You know the Marquis Ondor leads a group of insurgents. Your pardon. He leads a large resistance force against the Empire. Lady Ash, neither of our countries can afford this now. The Rosarian Empire would stir. They would aid the resistance and use this aid as a pretext to declare war on Arcadia. And Arcadia would have no choice but to answer. Lady Ash, let us go to Bur Omasace. With the blessing of his grace, the Grand Kiltius Anastasis, you may rightly wear your crown and declare the restoration of the Kingdom of Damasca. As queen, you can call for peace between the Empire and Almaska and stop Marquis Ondor. Uh, for peace? How dare you say that? The Empire attacked us, stole all we hold dear, and you would have me save them from war? Dalmasca would be the battlefield. What if Nethysite were used on Rabinasta? You know my brother would do this. Uh. Forgive me. I presumed over much. I could think of no other way to avoid bloodshed. If you cannot trust me, then please take me as your hostage. Rustler. You saw him, didn't you? Like at the king's tomb. So you did see him too. But why? It's strange. 
before, I didn't even know what you looked like. And the prince? I barely knew there was a prince. Who knows? Maybe the person I saw was my brother. Bosch told me about him. He enlisted right at the end. But for what? He knew he couldn't win. To protect something. How could he protect anything when he's dead? Was it different from Prince Rassler? Did that make sense? Hating the Empire, getting revenge, it's all I ever thought about. But I never did anything about it. I mean, I realized there was nothing I could do. It made me feel hollow, alone. And then, I'd miss my brother. I'd say stuff like, I'm gonna be a sky pirate, or some other stupid thing. Just anything to keep my mind off it. I was just, I was running away. I needed to get away from his death. That's why I followed you. You know what? I'm through with it. I'm through running. I'm ready to find my purpose. To find some real answers. Some reasons. If I stick with you, I think I will. I wish I knew. I'll find him. <laughs>